All right, so this is a sprint through a Western blot. We were looking at expression of an engineered protein, an E. coli. It was expressed from a plasmid. First of all, we're spinning down one milliliter of E. coli in a centrifuge. We're pouring off the supernatant, and then we're going to add SDS sample buffer. We'll then resuspend these cells and then boil the cells for four to five minutes to denature the protein and disrupt the cells. We're going to add that to a polyacrylamide gel and we'll run it towards the positive electrode because the SDS coats it in negative charge. An hour later the tracking dye has run off. We'll remove the apparatus open up the apparatus and pry the plates apart, revealing the gel. We'll then take the gel, incubate it for a little while in transfer buffer along with the nitrocellulose membrane. We'll then put down wet filter paper and then the nitrocellulose membrane and then the gel on top of that. We'll add filter paper to the top of that and then remove the air bubbles with a roller. We'll put it in a high amperage transfer apparatus for about 30 minutes. Notice that 30 minutes later the proteins have transferred. Look at the colored molecular weight markers, standards on the right. We then block unoccupied sites in 5% instant milk. We'll wash that off. Then we add primary antibody for at least an hour. We wash that off. Well, then we add secondary antibody. Wash that off. The secondary antibody has an enzyme that converts a chemiluminescent agent to photons. So we put this in a light box that can measure photons. We first of all take a picture of the standard molecular weight markers for reference. Then we capture photons over time. This is 30 seconds. We reverse the image so white becomes black. We print it out. We label the samples and concomitantly we purify the plasmids and send them in for sequencing to make sure we have the right mutations.